Hello class, today we will discuss tangents and normals to plane curves. So to better illustrate or to better show you the steps that you need to do in order to get the tangent and normal to a plane curve, I have here an example problem. So find the equations of the tangent and normal at the indicated point. So we have here a uh, function. Now, I used a grapher. For me to uh, see the function, no, kung ano itsura ng function. And as I graph the function in an all-right grapher, it appears to be a parabola. So, parabola siya. Now, uh, we have to find the tangent and normal at this point. No? 1, 2. Okay? So, yung 1, 2 would be... Uh, Somewhere here, so using your knowledge in analytic geometry, so that is 1 and this is 2. So therefore, this is the point that we want to examine. Now, what have we already learned so far? So we have learned that the first derivative, okay, so if we get the first derivative of our function, that would be the slope, okay? The slope, and that would be the slope at, any point. So, if we want to solve the slope at this particular point, 1, 2, what we need to do is, after getting the first derivative, to solve the slope at this point, we will substitute our x value, which is, in this case, equals to 1. Okay? So, that's the first step. Get the first derivative and find the slope. So, let's apply that. So, we have y is equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. Get the first derivative, so that would be equal to 6x minus 2. So, very easy lang. And then, find the slope. So, m is equal to, so the slope at x is equal to 1. So, m is equal to 6 times 1, substitute, sa so x minus 2, the slope is 4. Okay, so that's, we already learned this in our previous discussion. So, what is the equation of the tangent? Remember, the tan a tangent line is a line that intersects intersects our curve or our plane curve, which is in this case the parabola, at only one point. So, it means to say that uh, the slope of the tangent line is also the slope at the indicated point. Okay? So, knowing that, Knowing that, what we need to do next is to apply the slope, uh, slope point formula. So, what is that slope point formula? The slope fo point formula, as you already know in your analytic geometry or in your pre-calculus, is y minus y sub 1 is equal to m x minus times the quantity x minus x sub 1. Okay? So, we have m is equal to 4 and our point is 1, 2. So, therefore, x sub 1 is equal to 1 and y sub 1 is equal to 2. Okay? So, let's uh, go ahead and substitute. We have y minus y sub 1. So, that is 2. And then, slope is 4. x is 1 minus x, x sub 1 is 1. So, x minus x sub 1. So, that is 1. So, we have here y minus 2 is equal to 4x minus 4. So, simplify na lang guys. Let's equate everything to 0. So, we have y minus 4x. And then this one, as you transpose, it becomes positive 4. So, magiging plus 2 is equal to 0. So, the equation that we have formulated here, the first equation that we have formulated here is the equation of your tangent line. Okay? And that is this green line. So, this is your tangent line, which is, which has an equation of y is equal to, or y minus, y minus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? I hope that's clear. Now, what about the normal? Okay? So, the normal line, remember, the normal line is the line which is perpendicular to your tangent line. So, let me write that down. The normal line, the normal is perpendicular to your 
tangent. Now, knowing that it is perpendicular, then therefore, we will apply a principle in analytic geometry which states that if two lines are perpendicular, then therefore, their slopes are the negative reciprocal of each other. So, here, since the tangent line has a slope of 4, this is a slope of 4, then therefore, the normal line would have a slope of the negative reciprocal of 4, which is negative 1, 4. Okay? So, that's the next step. Solve for the, solve for the slope of your normal line. Okay? Solve for the slope of your normal line. So, we have... Uh, we have here m is equal to negative 1 fourth. And then finally, we will uh, again apply the formula for the uh, uh, slope point form, which is uh, y is equal to or y minus y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. Again, we use this equation or we use this uh, form because we have the slope and we also have the point, which is 1, 2. So, what we will solve here is the line that is perpendicular to your tangent line. So, I'll make it blue. Okay. Perpendicular. So, mean to say they are, pag measure mo yung, yung uh, angle nila between each other, it's equal to 90 degrees. Okay. So, again, we, know, we now know the slope and... We now also, we know also the point, which is 1, 2. So, we'll simply use this one. But we will change the slope. Instead of 4, we will make it negative 1, 4. Okay? So, continue solving. Y minus Y sub 1 is 2. Is equal to negative 1, 4. And then X minus 1. Okay? So, let's say we just multiply 4 to the whole equation. So, it will, to eliminate this... Uh, 1 fourth. So, we have 4y minus 8. So, negative 1 na lang to. So, minus x plus 1. Then, same thing. We'll uh, just uh, we'll equate everything to 0. So, y plus x and then transpose this one. Minus 9 is equal to 0. So, this one, this is the equation of your normal line. Okay, so if this is the tangent line, the green one, so this would now be the normal line. Normal line. And it, it has a uh, function of 4y plus x minus 9 is equal to 0. So 4y plus x minus 9 is equal to 0. Okay, let's go to our next problem. So, problem number 2, we have x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 2y is equal to 0. And then we have to find the normal and the tangent uh, equations or the normal and the tangent line equations at point 0, 0. So, I have graphed the uh, function here. Okay, and it is a circle. Okay, and this is the point that we want to 0, 0. Now, that is the point that we want to get our, ton our tangent line and our normal line. So, first, let's solve for the tangent line. So, if you remember the steps that uh, we need to make, first, solve for the slope. So, we have x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 2y is equal to 0. So, this is an implicit function. And if we solve for the uh, derivative with respect to x, we have 2x plus 2yy prime minus 6 plus 2y prime is equal to 0. So next, we have here 2yy, 2yy prime and 2y prime. So let's uh, factor out their uh, 2y prime. So we'll have y plus 1. And then... These two terms, 2x and 6x, let us transport, uh, let us transpose them to the right side. So we have 6 minus 2x. Now the whole equation, if you notice, can be multiplied by one half for us to simplify. So we have y prime times a quantity, y plus 1, and then this one will become 3, 
and this one will become simply x. So therefore, our first derivative is 3 minus x over y plus 1. Now next, after solving the uh, derivative, we can find now the slope at 0, 0. So the slope at 0, 0, so we substitute x is 0, y is 0, and we will have uh, 3 over 1, or simply equal to 3. Okay, so next we will apply the, you know, we can already solve for the normal line or for the tangent line, okay, using y minus y sub 1 is equal to m x minus x sub 1. Remember, here in this problem, the point that we are uh, referring to is 0, 0. So, napakadali nang ma-identify, you could easily identify your x sub 1 and your y sub 1, okay, which is uh, both 0. So, we continue, we have y minus 0 is equal to 3, then x minus 0. So, therefore, our uh, equation for the tangent line is y is equal to 3x. So, para lang ano, it would be uniform, y minus 3x. Okay, I would like you to equate everything to 0. So, this is your tangent line. Okay. So, drawing natin dito, guys. So, let's uh, make it green. Yeah, tangent. Again, a tangent line intersects the curve at exactly one point. So, we have y minus 3x is equal to 0. Next, let's solve for the normal line. So, a normal line is the one that is perpendicular to your tangent line. So, therefore, the slope of that line, so we're now at uh, step 3. Okay, step 3. The slope of that line is the negative reciprocal of your slope of the tangent line. So, if this is 3, then therefore the slope of the normal line would be equal to negative 1 third. And then we apply the uh, this formula. The point slope form will have y minus 0 is equal to negative 1 third, then x minus 0. So, let's multiply 3. So we have 3y is equal to negative x. And finally, 3y plus x is equal to 0. So this would now be the equation of our normal line. Okay, so if we go back to the uh, problem here. We we'll simply indicate that that has uh, an equation of 3y plus x is equal to 0. 3y plus x is equal to 0. Okay? So, I hope you have learned something in getting the tangent and normal. More examples in the next uh, or in our uh, actual synchronous session. Thank you for watching.